this course will give you the best placement. <laughs> so you think there is a course like that? Sorry, this is a clickbait. You have to understand there is no such one course which is applicable for each one of you, which is easiest to crack, which has the best placements. So you do not have to find such videos. You have to find such programs for yourself because each one of you is having some unique rare talent and if you think there is one common course which is easiest to crack for all of you and it will give you the best placements then definitely you are searching for wrong thing at the wrong place now you may ask that what really is the right question the right question over here is not one, but a multifaceted one. That how do I decide that which is the course which I must do? So, if you have to decide about the course, you have to understand what kind of person are you, what drives you, and how do you use that information to create a plan for yourself. Now, I am someone who likes mathematics and statistics. So that is my search beginning. And you have to decide that what is that single subject which you are driven for. And from there on, your search will begin. So let us suppose that somebody is interested in physics. So that person should not think of doing a master's in economics just because it has a good placement or maybe he likes few topics in economics because few topics in economics versus entire of physics or vice versa is a completely imbalanced equation and you cannot compare it in that way. So definitely you have to find out how you spend your days, days as in if you do not have an exam in near future and you do not have an assignment to submit and nobody is just pushing you to do something you are trying to do something on your own so what do you do in that time do you solve mathematics problems do you think of something mathematical in nature or statistical in nature uh, do you like to play a musical instrument is it some kind of a creative pursuit which you would like to do so find, find that thing out for yourself and then only your beginning will start that what really I should do, what kind of a course because there is no dearth of courses in this country. You have course for everything. You, you have courses in footwear making, you have a course in designing, you have course in filmmaking, you have course in data science and what not. And Yes, a lot of people even ask about what should be my choice because I like computer science and data science both. So what should I choose which has a better prospect? Now I, I know where you're coming where you're coming from. Now probably if you comment down in the comment box that you want a video between computer science versus data science, then I will make one for sure. So you have to understand that computer science, data science are not really a very similar kind of a field but the kind of people who go on to become data scientists these days they are usually from a coding or programming background because that is the kind of a marketing which data science has got. Uh, essentially it should have been in such a way that people with a lot of statistics background would have been doing data science. But perhaps that's not the reality as of now anyway let's come to the basic point over this video now whenever you are thinking that what kind of a course you have to decide now once you have decided that this is this is a beginning of your search this subject now after that you have to decide which are the top colleges in that subject and uh, which how do you get into those ex uh, those colleges now let's say you have found out those subjects, found out the top colleges, found out the procedures. Now if after these three stages even then there are few courses which you would like to do. Now you have to see which courses are most 
worthy in terms of placement now obviously you are looking at placement at the last stage when you are almost clear that this is the course which you want to do because yes the truth is we want jobs we cannot uh, think of education in isolation so if earlier three tests was successful you will look for the last test of placement if placement is kind of a decent authentic then you can do that course so this is how you have to plan your strategy it's like a 3 plus 1 strategy step 1 step 2 step 3 decides which courses you will do and the last step the add on step is whether you should really do that course talking financially now when you have really arrived at a course now if you prepare a lot of that entrance examination or the selection procedure of that course you will be the person for whom this admission process will be the easiest this course will give you best placement so this is the answer that when you find such a course by this 3 plus 1 strategy this course becomes your best course easiest to get in and has the best placement as well